Sure, some people say interacting with animals is good for our health. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it really doesn't apply to all creatures. Just to be sure you're safe, let's take a look at some you should steer clear of, especially their kisses. Not that you'd like touching worms anytime soon, but do stay away from ribbon worms. They're easy to spot because these long, thin creatures are often brightly colored. You'll see some of them in oceans, while other species can also live on land. Ribbon worms have a unique feature called a proboscis, which is a long, thin tube that they use to capture and eat their prey. They're often very flexible and can stretch out to catch their food or wrap around objects. Some ribbon worms are also venomous, often sneaking harmful substances into their prey. More so, they can also secrete a slime that can be irritating to the skin. Let's also look at the cone snail for a bit. This one lives in the ocean, usually in warm and shallow waters near coral reefs. It can be found in many different colors and patterns and uses its long pointed shell to hide and protect itself. It also has a long pointed tongue, which can be quite dangerous. It's called a radula and the snail uses it to catch its prey. Inside its tongue, there are tiny sharp teeth. When the cone snail sees a fish or other small animal, it shoots out its tongue and injects its harpoons into its prey. These harpoons are covered in venom, which can make the prey very sick. The venom can also be harmful to humans, so it's important to be careful around cone snails. Humans and lampreys have had quite a complicated relationship over the years. In case you haven't heard of them, they are eel-like fish that are known for this unusual feature, tube-shaped mouths with scary teeth. They are parasites that attach themselves to other fish and feed on their blood and tissues. You'll find them in both fresh and salt water. Despite the terrifying way they look, people have eaten them for a long time. Some rich and powerful people in the past, like kings and emperors, enjoyed having them for dinner as a delicacy. There's even a story about a king who ate so many lampreys that he eventually kicked the proverbial bucket. Tasty as they may seem for some, they are quite dangerous. They can cause trouble for people because they can attach themselves to the skin and use their sharp teeth to feed on their host's blood and tissue. This is what earned it the nickname vampire fish. Lampreys can cause severe damage to their host because of things like infection or loss of blood. More so, the wounds they cause can be difficult to heal and may leave scarring. Lampreys may not be your dream fish, but they do look like beauty pageant contestants next to the hagfish. A hagfish is also a slimy, eel-like fish that lives in the ocean. It has a long, slippery body and no scales. Instead, it has a layer of slime that it can release to protect itself from predators or to help it move through the water. Hagfish are scavengers and will eat expired animals that they find in the ocean. Thankfully, they're not known to attack or harm humans, but you should steer clear of these pesky mouths of theirs. That's because they can carry a lot of harmful bacteria, seeing as they don't eat from the fresh produce aisle, if you know what I mean. They can be a problem for divers or fishermen because they can give off a slime that can clog fishing nets and make the water difficult to see in. Because they often feast themselves from the ocean's trash cans, they can smell pretty bad too. A fish that's dubbed the cookie cutter shark? Might seem cute when you first hear about them, but these creatures can be quite dangerous. They are small fish that got their name because of the unique way they eat food. These creatures feature a small circular shaped mouth that comes with a terrifying set of teeth. They allow the shark to cut out round pieces directly from their prey, just like a cookie cutter leaves an imprint on a piece of dough. You'll find them in tropical waters around the world, and what's even more dangerous is that they often swim near the surface of the water. So people are more likely to get into contact with these fish when surfing or swimming. Ever heard of a trash panda? Well, if you haven't heard of it before, this is actually a nickname for the naughty raccoon. They're small furry animals with black and white markings on their face and bushy tail. These quirky creatures are famous for their mischievous behavior, like raiding trash cans for food. They're often found near forests, 
and are more active at nighttime. Despite their innocent looks, raccoons can be dangerous if they lick you. That's because their saliva can contain harmful bacteria or diseases. It's best to avoid contact with raccoons and to seek help if you've been licked by one, just in case. The odds of you ever encountering the Ohakan salamander are pretty slim. But did you know its tongue is dangerous? Weirdly enough, it's because of its speed. This type of salamander is found in the Oaxaca region of Mexico. It also features a dark brown or black body and bright orange or yellow markings on its arms, legs, and tail. This creature spends most of its time in the trees, where it feeds on insects. It's nocturnal, and when threatened, it can release a nasty substance from its skin to protect itself from predators. However, a new study has found that this giant palm salamander has the most powerful muscle in the animal kingdom. It can shoot out its tongue with so much power that being snapped by it can cause serious damage. It can also extend its tongue more than half its body length in just 7 milliseconds. Geese are pretty common domesticated animals. If you've ever spent some time on a farm, you've encountered these sturdy birds for sure. They might look wobbly, but they can get aggressive to protect their territory and their offspring. It's no surprise some farms even use these birds for protection, mostly because they get easily startled by noise and can alert the owner if something unusual is going on in their yard. Nevertheless, geese can be dangerous if they bite you. Their beaks can cause injury and can also carry bacteria that can lead to many other problems inside your body. It's important to avoid approaching or interacting with geese in a way that may provoke them to bite. The list of animals you shouldn't let lick you doesn't end with wild ones. Let's look at domesticated ones too, like cats. Their tongue is made of small backward-facing spines called papillae, which help them groom themselves and eat. These papillae are made out of keratin, the same protein found in human nails and hair. If you've ever been licked by a cat, you know the sensation. It's like being touched by sandpaper. A cat's rough tongue can cause irritation on any type of skin if used a lot or aggressively. Same goes with dogs. Your dog can have bacteria in its mouth that can cause you some problems. Dogs can get these bacteria by sniffing or eating animal waste or by drinking dirty water. Sometimes, dogs have these bacteria in their bodies but do not look sick, so you might be easily confused into thinking your dog is actually top-notch healthy. If you don't want to have any problems from the stuff in your dog's mouth, avoid letting them lick your mouth or nose, and wash your hands and face after giving them a kiss. If you do, however, have a routine with your dog and can't help yourself to these smooches, kissing your dog on the cheek instead of the lips is a safer option. Allowing your pets to lick you can reinforce unwanted behavior, like begging for food or attention. Some pets may even have allergies that can be passed on to humans through their saliva. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.